Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can deploy your React application to the GitHub pages. If you don't have any hosting at the moment and you want to use something for free, GitHub is a very good option. So, I'm going to show you what you have to do. You have to, you need to have a GitHub account, obviously, because that's here that we're going to deploy our application. You also need to have Node.js installed on your machine, okay? So if you don't have Node.js installed, make sure that you go to nodejs.org, what we can see here on the page. And also we are going to use Git, okay, version control. So you need to have all of these things installed on your machine in order for this to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in here to my Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open my terminal, okay? I'm going to open new terminal. And I'm just going to go inside of the folder where I want to create my first React app. So I'm just going to paste in here where I want to go. So I'm going to do CD to change directory, D, dev projects. This is where I want to create my React app. Then I'm going to do npm init create, sorry, just React app and then the name of my uh, folder that I want to create to with my react app. So I'm just going to name it react deploy, react dash deploy. Okay. So if you press enter, now you should start installing a complete new react application. I'm just showing you this because if you never know how to create your first react app, basically it's just like this. So this should take a minute. And once this is done, we can carry on with the rest. Okay, now that our React app is installed, let's just go inside of it. So we go inside of CD React dash deploy. Okay, and now we are going to do npm start just to make sure that our React app is all well installed and we can preview it. Okay, so it's just starting the development server and it's just in here on the side. And this is what it looks like. So great, it's working. So Let's go back now. Uh, let me just open in here my thing. Let me just put this together. I want to obviously create, first of all, a new repository. So I'm going to click in here on the top. Make sure that you are on your GitHub account. Click in here on the top. Go to your repositories. Or you can click in here as well. I'm going to click in here new. And now let's give this a name. I'm going to call this React Deploy. I'm going to leave it as public. I don't need any description and no readme as well. So just create repository. Okay. So leave this page for now. Don't touch it and don't, don't close this uh, window because we, we're going to need some of the content in here. Okay. Let's go back to our visual studio code. Let me just press control C if you are on windows or command C if you are on Mac just to close our server down. And so we can write down another commands in here in our command line. And I'm just going to do npm install gh pages. So this is like for GitHub pages and then space dash dash save dash dev. Okay. This is to save it as a dev dependency. So let's just press enter now to install is installing now. Should take just a couple of seconds. Okay, this is now installed. Now we need to go if you guys go in here on the side. Okay, I'm just going to open the folder that we just created. So if I go into my dev projects, I go into my react deploy, select the folder. Now if I go in here into my package.json on the top, I want to put a new a new line and I'm going to put in here home page. Okay. And now I'm going to show you what you need to put in here. You need to put, okay. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, whatever is your username from GitHub. How can you know that? If you go back to the GitHub, okay. Where was it? Uh, here. So if I go in here, uh, when you check this in here, that says git remote add origin and github.com. T Sampaio. Okay. This is my name. Okay. You got it in here on the top as well. I don't know if you can see my mouse. This is the name of your account. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it inside of here. And then I'm going to say dot 
github.io and then I'm going to put a forward slash and now it's going to be the name of your repository that you just created. Okay, let me just go back. I'm going to see in here what was the name. I call this React Deploy. Look, I'm even just like selecting it was the name of our repository. It's in here on the top as well. Okay, React Deploy. I'm going to copy this, go back in here and just paste it. Okay, don't forget to put a comma in the end. If you forget to put this comma, your code will break. Okay, after this is um, added, just make sure that in your package.json you got your GitHub pages down here to make sure it was well installed, which looks like is all fine. Now I want to add two new lines to our scripts in here. Okay, at the top, I'm just going to paste these two scripts that you guys need to add pre-deploy npm run build and then you got deploy git uh, git uh, so it's gh dash pages space dash d space build don't forget to put the commas after each one of these scripts so you need to add these two scripts this is the way that we are going to be able to push our things to github okay now i'm going to initialize my uh, git in here so i'm going to open the terminal okay I'm going to do git init, okay? Make sure that you are on the right folder, guys, okay? In here where it says React Deploy, this is my folder where I created my React app. I'm going to say git init, okay? And I'm going to add, if I go back in here, if you guys remember, I'm going to add this, git remote add origin, okay? This is so git knows where do we want to push our application. So I'm going to do this, command V, git remote add origin and i'm going to put this okay now let's do just a few changes in here so our app looks a little bit different so inside of my app.js let me just close this down a bit i'm going to delete everything from inside okay i'm just going to put in here a h1 and i'm going to say my react app then I'm going to put a H2 saying something like author and then I'm going to put my name, Telmo Sampaio. And finally, I'm just going to put an image. Okay. I'm going to put an image with the alt of profile image. Okay. Obviously, I need to import this image now. Let me just delete this logo from the top. Where do I have this image? I'm just going to copy this image. I have an image in here on the side. I'm going now to my dev projects. Okay, let me just open these. I have in here React Deploy. Inside of the source, I'm going to create a new folder called IMG. Okay, inside of this folder IMG, I'm going to paste this image that I want to use. So it's telmo peak So on the top, I'm going to do import uh, profile image. I'm going to call it like that from and then I'm going to put uh, single quotes. I'm going to do dot slash image slash. And then what I'm going to call is is uh, Telmo. What was the name again? Telmo dash peak dot JPEG. OK. I'm going to save this. Now that I imported this image, I can use it down here. Okay. Let's run our application. Ah, let me just do one more thing. In my app.css, I'm just going to select my body. Okay. And I'm going to put a background color to be orange, for example. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to run my React application again. npm start. Okay, it's just loading now and there it is. This is just a simple React application. So what am I missing now? The only thing that I need now is obviously, let me just close down my server with control C. I'm going to do a git status. It has in here a lot of stuff that has been modified and it needs to be saved. So we can do git add dot to add everything at the moment. Okay. Then I'm going to do git commit dash M and then the name of the commit. I'm just going to say 
uh, deploy my React app to GitHub pages. Okay, I'm going to save these now. Now, the last thing that we are missing in here is to deploy our application from here to GitHub. So what we need to do is just write this npm run deploy. Okay, so if this is the first time that you guys are running this, maybe it's going to uh, show you some kind of a pop up like to asking you to log in to your uh, GitHub, asking you to put the email and password. For me, it doesn't happen because I've been using for a long time. But if this happens to you guys, just check this pop up image that comes up and put your login details. So I'm going to put npm run deploy. This should take just a couple, maybe like a minute or so. So once this is done, I come back to you. All right, it looks like it was just faster than one minute. So the only thing left that we have to do after this is just to push our code to uh, GitHub. So for that, I'm just going to do git push dash u origin master. And basically, you just have to push the, the code now just to have it there as a reference because what is actually doing with the files that you see on the page after is using the npm run deploy. What we are doing right now is just pushing our code to GitHub so you can have it in there as a reference. That's it. You don't need this code right now to make your page visible, okay? So let's just run this. So this will be to push our code to GitHub. Okay, so now that this is um, completely pushed, let's go to our GitHub page. So I'm going in here, oops. So I'm going in here to my uh, GitHub page. So I'm just gonna open in here my main page. I'm gonna click in here on where it says repositories. Okay, and I'm gonna click where it says React Deploy. Okay, I'm going to click on it. Then what I want you guys to do is go in here on the top where it says settings. Okay, and if you guys scroll down a little bit, let's scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. It says GitHub pages is designed to host your personal organization or project pages from GitHub. And then it says in here, your site is published at uh, https tsampayo.github.io forward slash react deploy. So let's open this page and look at this. Now my, my react application is online and anyone can see it in the world. So basically this is awesome if you guys don't have any uh, hosting account to put your websites. This is like a free way to do it. So for all of you guys that you are asking me all the time for a free way, here it is. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below your React projects that you guys are uploading so I can see them as well. And make sure that you comment as well if you like this tutorial or not. And I'll see you in the next video.